step into the world of classic cinema with the 1933 movie, Son of Khan. This lesser-known sequel to the iconic King Kong explores the aftermath of the colossal chaos caused by the original giant ape's rampage through New York City. A unique blend of adventure, drama, and lighter moments, the film takes viewers on a journey of redemption and discovery as Carl Denham, the adventurous filmmaker, seeks to make amends for the havoc wreaked by King Kong. While not as grandiose as its predecessor, Son of Khan offers its own charm, unveiling a more compassionate side to the monstrous legacy left behind. This movie, often overshadowed by its renowned predecessor, deserves attention for its attempt to add depth and a touch of sentimentality to the thrilling monster genre. Have you ever stumbled upon a movie that, though not as widely celebrated, held a special place in your heart? What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Son of Khan? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Son of Kong is a sequel to the groundbreaking film King Kong released in 1933, directed by Ernest B. Skotsack. This sequel, released the same year, continues the narrative where the original left off. Carl Denham, the protagonist, is facing lawsuits and public outrage due to the destruction caused by Kong in New York City. He escapes aboard a ship to avoid the legal consequences, accompanied by a down-and-out woman named Hilda, and they embark on an expedition to a distant island. There, they encounter Khan's benevolent offspring, a smaller and more jovial version of his father. This younger Khan becomes an unexpected ally, aiding Denham and Hilda against natural disasters and adversaries on the island. Despite being a lighter and more comical film compared to its predecessor, Son of Khan retains elements of adventure and spectacle. Its brisk production, released just nine months after King Kong, showcased similar stop-motion animation techniques by Willis O'Brien, but the sequel emphasized a more family-friendly and sentimental storyline. Although not as critically acclaimed or culturally impactful as its predecessor, Son of Kong contributed to the legacy of the original film and expanded the lore surrounding the iconic creature. Its portrayal of Kong's offspring added depth to the mythology, depicting the giant ape in a more sympathetic light. Over time, the film has gained appreciation for its nostalgic charm and unique take on the Khan legacy within the realm of classic monster cinema. Son of Khan remains a significant chapter in the cinematic universe of the colossal ape, showcasing the softer side of this legendary creature while providing a continuation of the Khan saga that has endured through generations, captivating audiences worldwide. Writer Ruth Rose, recognizing the towering success of the original King Khan, opted to infuse humor into the sequel, Son of Khan. Faced with the daunting task of surpassing its predecessor, Rose's decision to inject levity into the narrative steered the film in a lighter, more comedic direction. This deliberate shift in tone aimed to create an entertaining experience while acknowledging the impossibility of replicating the first film's impact. Rose's approach allowed Son of Khan to carve its own niche, diverging from the grandeur of its predecessor to offer a more lighthearted and amusing continuation of the Khan saga. Robert Armstrong, known for his role as Carl Denham in the 1933 film King Kong, favored the sequel, Son of Kong, citing its focus on character development. Interestingly, despite being the sequel to the groundbreaking King Kong, Son of Kong doesn't feature or mention Andero or Jack Driscoll, the protagonists from the original film. The younger Kong puppet used in Son of Kong was actually repurposed from the long face Kong model used in King Kong's T-Rex battle, remodeled to resemble a younger albino gorilla. This shift in focus and the reuse of the puppet allowed the sequel to diverge from its predecessor while maintaining a connection to the iconic creature. Armstrong's preference for the sequel due to its emphasis on character growth showcases the different direction taken in Son of Kong compared to its predecessor. The model of the Styracosaurus used in the 1933 film Son of Khan is currently owned by Peter Jackson. This film first appeared on television in Philadelphia on Friday, July 13, 1956, on WFIL. It also aired in various other cities subsequently. Unlike Anne Darrow, Hilda displays no fear of little Khan, and even suggests helping him out of quicksand during their first encounter. This behind-the-scenes ownership of a dinosaur model and the contrasting character reactions offer unique insights into the legacy of the film. The Styracosaurus model's ownership transfer to Peter Jackson highlights the lasting significance and interest in the artifacts from classic monster cinema. 
Additionally, Hilda's portrayal in the movie as a character unafraid of Little Khan presence and intriguing departure from the original protagonists response to the colossal creatures. These aspects provide intriguing glimpses into the film's production, its impact on subsequent filmmakers, and the varied character dynamics portrayed within the narrative. Released just nine months after the original King Kong film, the 1933 movie Son of Kong follows the aftermath of the colossal ape's rampage in New York City. Notably, the sequel introduces a younger, more affable version of Khan, often referred to as Little Khan or Junior Khan. Interestingly, the promotional name for this smaller ape was Kiko, derived from King Khan, though it was never used in the film itself. One intriguing aspect of the sequel is its rapid production turnaround, hitting theaters in a relatively short span after the groundbreaking success of its predecessor. This quick release aimed to capitalize on the momentum and popularity generated by the original King Kong film, offering audiences a continuation of the story within a relatively short time frame. Moreover, Son of Khan diverges from its predecessor by presenting a lighter, more comedic tone while exploring the consequences faced by Carl Denham. The protagonist, following the chaos caused by the giant ape in New York City. The film prioritizes character development, focusing on Denham's escapades and encounters on a distant island, where he forms an unexpected alliance with the younger Kong, steering the narrative in a more family-friendly and sentimental direction. The deaths of Robert Armstrong and executive producer Miriam C. Cooper, occurring within one day of each other in April 1973, marked a significant moment in the legacy of those involved in bringing the iconic Khan character to life. In summary, Son of Khan's speedy release, introduction of a more amiable offspring of Khan, and the tonal shift towards a lighter storyline following the original film's success contribute to its unique place in cinematic history, offering a swift continuation and expansion of the Khan saga. As we part ways from this cinematic journey, let's embrace the lasting essence of the 1933 classic, Son of Khan. Its enduring charm and adventurous spirit have woven themselves into the tapestry of cinema history, leaving us with indelible impressions and memories. Reflecting on the escapades of Carl Denham and the endearing bond between Khan's progeny and humanity, one can't help but delve into a world where empathy and connection transcended the screen. Perhaps it stirred your fascination for the intricacies of stop-motion animation, or ignited a sense of wonder for the unexplored corners of Skull Island. Your personal journey with Son of Kong is a testament to the film's ability to resonate across generations, sparking conversations, nostalgia, and appreciation for its pioneering storytelling. I invite you to share your treasured moments and reflections on this cinematic gem. Whether it's the heartfelt camaraderie, the awe-inspiring special effects, or the timeless messages nestled within the plot, your thoughts add depth to the collective appreciation of this cinematic masterpiece. Thank you for embarking on this nostalgic excursion into the world of Son of Ka. Your engagement and passion for this classic enrich our shared cinematic experience. Here's to preserving the magic of this film for generations to come.